Children, if you will, please, the parents, if you'll bring them to the platform. And Charlie, I'm going to ask you to assist me, please, and Randy, if you'll assist me. Uh, we're going to line them up right across here. There's 11 babies, and we're going to line them up right across the front here. Okay. Newman, I'm going to let you um, hand out these cards and the little Bibles um, as they come up. Mm -hmm. I think they're pretty well in, in order there. All right, if you will, please, the parents will bring up a little Matthew Blum. Matthew Blum, I think I'm pronouncing that right, B-L-U-M, Blum. All right, Aaron David Brown. Hannah Solicity Infinger. Athali Elizabeth Fogel. Mary Esther Hartman. Matthew Gregory Landry. Aaron Kristen Larson. <clears throat> Emily Joy Lawyer. Jeremiah Monk. Andrew David Morris. Jesse Stephen Paul Wilson. I think that's all 11. I need my lapel mic, Charlie. My lapel mic. These guys are. Hi. And who is this? Aaron David. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey. I think he just woke up. Hey. <laughs> He's going to be a professor. He's serious. He's serious. Hi. And this is Hannah? Hannah? Mm -hmm. Little Hannah. Wow, how old is she? A month old. Wow. This is little Hannah. Thank you. Yay. I bet a lot of you women like to get your hands on her, wouldn't you? <laughs> She's sleeping. 
Yes, you sure is sweet. Okay, who have we got here? Adelaide Elizabeth. Adelaide. Six days old. Six days old, okay. Whoa, brother. This is little Adelaide. Six days old. That's waiting. Thank you. Adelaide. I like that name. How do you spell that? A T H L I E Adelaide. That sounds like a good Georgia name. Uh -huh. Hey, this is Mary Esther. Hey there. Whoa. She's got that jaw clenched. Wave, there's your aunt. She's got lots of sugar in them little cheeks there. <laughs> this is Mary Esther. Craig, this is how you stay in shape, buddy. Craig Howell, eating them donuts, this is how you stay in shape right here. When you get into full-time ministry, you just really get a workout, man. Okay. Aaron, I skip one? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I skipped yours. How'd I do that? Hey, how could I skip such a fine-looking guy? What's his name? Matthew. Matthew. You ain't gonna be no tax collector, are you, buddy? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, Matthew, the tax collector. No, I think he's going to be a disciple. That's what he's going to be. Yeah, he ain't going to be no tax collector. Is that your brother? Boy, he's a fine boy. Hey. Hi there. What's his name? What's her name? Erin. E-R-I-N. How old is she? Two months. Two months. This is, for those of you that don't know, that's um, Jerry Hill, Stephen Jerry Hill. That's Jerry Hill's brother and his wife. This is their new little baby. You see? That's a sweet baby. <laughs> Let me get a good look at you. Yeah. That's a pretty girl. <laughs> there you go. Hi. What's her name? Emily Joy. Emily Joy. Hey, Joy. You gonna call her Joy? Emily Joy. Okay, gonna call her both. Well, she's bright-eyed. Wow. Look how bright-eyed she is. She's checking you out, Rosalind. <laughs> well, Hardy, you got your baby. Got me a baby. Got your baby. I remember all those years that y'all were believing God for a baby and God's given you a little baby. That is so sweet. Thanks to the prayers of everybody. Yeah, prayers, prayers brought it about. What did you finally name him? Andrew David. Andrew David. All right, another disciple. This is a little miracle baby here. They wanted a baby so long. 
And isn't he a fine one? He's healthy. Yes, sir. Look at those lights. Gee whiz, look at that. Gee whiz. Look at the people. No way, Jose. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. Well, who have we got here? Oh, Jeremiah. Jeremiah the bullfrog. <laughs> oh, this is Jeremiah the prophet. That's who that is. He's a prophet. Whoa. Check it out, buddy. Check them out. Figure it out for us. <laughs> you see something there? He's serious, isn't he? We got some serious guys this morning. Did you have a bad meal today? Was your cereal bad or something? <laughs> he said, no, I didn't get enough. <laughs> <laughs> this is mama's boy you reckon you let me have him hey partner look at that all right what's his name matthew, matthew. get that tongue out there man let's check it out this is a mama's boy she said hey how about it partner hey look at that wow <laughs> yes, sir. I'm going to get that boy. I'm going to get that boy. <laughs> he got some fat legs on him, hasn't he? <laughs> Bless you. Hi. And this is? This is Jesse. How old is she? Two and a half weeks, a little boy, okay. He's pretty enough to be a girl. This is Jesse. <laughs> Two and a half weeks. Hey, partner. Look at that. Look at that. Aren't these babies precious? That's so sweet. Whoa. I'm all right. <laughs> They're saying, watch the steps. Whew, everybody stand. <clears throat> Bless the Lord. You know, when you're a parent, it's a very important day when you bring your baby to church like this. It's more to them than just a dedicatory service that other people forget about. These parents cling to every word that the man of God prays. When we dedicate children to the Lord, it's not that we're leading them into salvation experience. That's got to happen later. We're just, what I want to do is just bless these babies. We want to bless them and commit them into the care of the Holy Spirit. These parents realize that God gave them these children and they want to give them back to God for his safekeeping and for God to use their little lives any way he chooses to do so. I'm going to ask everybody in the audience to extend your hand this way toward these babies and we're going to pray and we're going to bless them. Father, I thank you for every little boy and every little girl that has been brought to this stage today by these parents to bring them to the house of God as Mary, the mother of Jesus, did. And Simeon said, oh, now I'm ready to go. I have seen the Messiah. Lord, we don't know what plan and what future holds for these babies, but Lord, we believe today as covenant children of God 
that these children are not accidental, but they are providential. And Lord, I extend my hand over these babies and I bless them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. And Lord, as a man of God, I speak over these babies that they have good health, that their parents not be tormented by worrying about these children's health, either physical, emotional, or mental, or spiritual, but that, Lord, they would be well-founded emotionally and that they would be well-grounded and come up in homes where they will constantly hear the Word of God, where they will hear testimonies of the faithfulness and the goodness of God, and they will come up in homes where they hear the name of Jesus regularly and where they have hands laid on them and they're prayed over before they're put to bed. And in the morning when they rise and they begin their days that they see their parents fellowshipping and talking about the things of God and praying to begin the day. And Lord, I bless these children that every hair of their head be protected, that you keep their feet from stumbling, Lord, I speak that you keep these children from those that the devil would put in their path to lead them astray. Father, I pray that you will just take and put a hook in the nose of those that the devil would put in their path to lead these children in the wrong direction at a very early age. Lord, just put a hook in their nose and let them move out of the neighborhood. Just take them out of the community. Take them out of the little group, Lord, and let these kids, instead of being influenced, let these children be influencers. And Father, I pray over these babies as I bless them that their bodies function the way you intended from the beginning. Lord, that they have good physical health from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. That every organ function the way you intended from the beginning. Lord, I pray that their blood be good and wholesome and pure and strong. Lord, make their bones strong. Make their muscles strong. May they grow to be stalwart men of God. Lord, may these young ladies grow up to be virtuous, holy, godly, bride of Christ. Lord, I pray that in the name of Jesus, you will keep these children from any kind of attack. That you will keep them, Lord, from any kind of molestations in their life that they be protected from this day forward, sealed with the blood of Jesus, that they not be attacked by any molester, that they never be malhandled, Lord, that they never even be fondled in any way that would bring any kind of an emotional damage to them. But Lord, keep them, keep them, keep them, Jesus, by your spirit and by your power. Lord, I pray for their parents, that you would bless them with good employment, that the needs will be more than met, but they'll have extra and they'll have plenty. Lord, bless the parents, I pray, with good jobs where they enjoy what they do and their life will not be heavy and a drag. But Lord, bless their homes where they will find fruitful, meaningful, fulfilling employment. And Lord, bless the parents with wisdom, that they can just look at that child and say, something's wrong. And Lord, they can begin to interrogate and examine that child to find out what's troubling it. Lord, I pray for a special anointing upon them, upon the grandparents and all the other family members, that each and every one of them, Lord, will be used to further accentuate what you started in these children's lives. In the precious name of Jesus, we commit these children into your care. Amen and amen. God bless you.